something that we're going to keep doing consistently. And I think we like the way that it's been turning out. Um, these are all recorded. So if you do have to leave in between, you can always come back and, and listen in on to what we talked about in the meantime. What we're going to do with today's Twitter spaces is I have a few things that I want to talk about. Um, we'll address those. And then after after I address that, what I'll do is I'll change the settings up so everybody um, can come up there, come up here and speak without having to be requested, without having to put a request to speak. So um, we'll have a decent discussion if you guys want to talk about some things too. But let's kick things off, guys. So pretty interesting week in crypto. Let's talk a little bit about um, some of the events that occurred over the past couple of days. Obviously, we saw one of the biggest exchanges um, on the planet kind of collapse. So, you know, that being FTX and their sister or brother company, whatever you want to call it, Alameda Research. Um, obviously, you've heard about it. It's been all over the place. And obviously, you guys are aware of the whole situation. Hopefully, everybody took the warning signs that came few days prior and was able to, you know, make sure they protect themselves and protect their assets if you guys were using that exchange. But I haven't heard anybody in our community complaining about them having issues on FTX. So hopefully nobody even had any funds on there to begin with. <clears throat> now, um, let's just get right into uh, the main part of, of today's discussion, which is going to be uh, I've obviously been talking in the telegram about something big that's coming up for this month. And I'm going to give a little sneak teaser about uh, what's going to happen. We're going to be doing um, a massive, massive, massive thing that bigger than we've ever done for literally any event yet. Um, people are going to have eight days of announcements um, we're not going to announce everything all at once. We're going to announce it day by day just because it is a lot to process and it is a lot for people to understand. Um, we're going to go really hard in November. The end of November is pretty much uh, going to be jam-packed full of events and activities and all kinds of things where you guys are going to be able to interact with, win prizes, um, just all kinds of cool things. We're going to be doing the biggest Shiba Doge giveaway that we've ever done. So there's going to be a chance for you to win 500 quints, which is a lot of tokens. 500 quints is no joke. So that's going to be up on the table for grabs. There's going to be pairs of NFTs up for grabs. There's going to be all kinds of things that are going to be up for grabs for, in November. So eight huge announcements coming up. Um, we plan on having the first announcement on the 19th and it'll lead through to the, um, let me see here. Let me just double check. I'm not giving me Yeah. 19th through the 25th. Okay. So the first official announcement of the event, the beginning of the event will happen on the 19th. And then every single day leading up to the 25th, we'll give another announcement as to what to, what, what's happening and what to expect and how to participate. There are going to be all kinds of mini games included in between where people can participate and win. There's going to be all kinds of um, social events. There will be uh, meme events. There will be art events. There will be everything. So this is definitely one of the biggest things that we're um, bringing to the table this year. Um, and <clears throat> obviously not as big as what to expect for season three and talking about season three, we released a few series of tweets yesterday. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys saw it and a lot of you guys understood it. And some of you guys might have questions about it. So uh, we are happy to announce that we did officially sign off on the um, comic book. The edition of the comic book is literally around the corner. We're expecting it to come out in line with season three and, um, with the Shiba Doge NFTs. So the comic book is going to be amazing. Um, the storyline is amazing. We sat down with the creative team that's working on it. And um, we went over everything yesterday. And it was literally an amazing storyline, something that could definitely have a franchise to it, something that could definitely draw a lot of people's attention and something that um, our project will, will live off of because this is the lore of the project that we're bringing to life. Now, with the lore of the project being brought to life, that changes the whole dynamic of, 
of the project, right? Because now there is actually a symbiotic relationship between people's um, tokens and between people's NFTs to actually a storyline that exists. And um, a lot of you guys might have forgot, but uh, this storyline and this comic that's dropping is going to drop in correlation with the scavenger hunt that we've been talking about for the past few months. A lot of people might have thought we forgot about the scavenger hunt or a lot of people thought we just scratched the scavenger hunt. That is not the case. The scavenger hunt, we took it and ran with it. So that scavenger hunt turned into literally the entire idea of, of how we're going to introduce the storyline and how we're going to bring um, the comic to, to life. So um, that's another cool aspect of uh, how we're going to be introducing the entire ecosystem in, I mean, tie the whole ecosystem together. So something huge to expect for, for, I want to say December, we're aiming for December for the comic and scavenger hunt too. I don't know an exact date, but we'll, we'll try to tie everything in together into like a package for a season three and, and try to release it all at once. Uh, everything is looking real promising and we're, we're on a really nice track right now. Uh, one other thing that is a massive, massive leap for us is we also um, got a ton of development done on the UX side of the breeding, and it looks amazing. Uh, I can't wait to share some sneak peeks with you guys. Hopefully very soon we'll be able to do that. But the the breeding system is absolutely amazing. The interface is absolutely amazing. The customization options are absolutely amazing. There are previews where people will be able to preview the customization and preview what their bread NFT will look like before they lock it in. So you don't have to um, you don't have to take a shot in the dark. You can see previews of what bread NFT you're going to get before you actually hit the breed button and then officially do it right so there's a lot of cool cool customization features coming in like that the wearables are looking amazing where you're going to be able to customize your nfts and make them look like however you want them to look like um super excited uh, today was a really productive well yesterday and today was really productive on that end and um we saw some really really good updates from our uh development side of things the people that are building the tech and the people that are actually designing the the um the ux of everything so uh we're happy man we're happy that everything is falling in line with um, the deadlines that we're trying to re to meet and we're just super excited so it's what we're doing right now and what we're going to be doing for the next like two months is going to pretty much set us up and prime us for the entirety of 2023 because 2023 is going to be uh jam-packed of literally a lot of new features and a lot of new things that we didn't have in the first year of Shiba Doge. So the next year, 2023, the upcoming year is going to be a completely different dynamic, right? Right now, the main dy dynamic that we have is, yeah, we have a community. Yeah, we have a lot of support. Yeah, we have a lot of cool videos. Yeah, we have a lot of informative AMAs. Yeah, we have, we have all that shebang, right? But what we don't have is um, what we're bringing to the table, which is the entirety of the storyline the interaction, the games, the, the scavenger hunts, the participation where you guys are going to be able to win free stuff every week. Um, just an entire ecosystem that the community can engage with on a daily basis and have fun and earn rewards and be able to participate more. Um, how could I say it? Uh, not more deeply, but like participate better with your NFTs, right? In the sense, I, I might be tongue-tied, whatever, but you guys understand what I'm trying to say. There's gonna be just an entire new way of how you're gonna be looking at your NFTs and how you're gonna be treating your NFTs and your tokens and everything, right? So the utility, 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 that's what 2023 is gonna be based off of and a lot of new marketing for certain things that we're actually working on in the background, hint, hint. Um, for people who kind of know what a sleeping giant is, you guys kind of get what I'm talking about. There is a sleeping giant that is in our ecosystem that may or may not awake from hibernation very, very soon. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So we definitely have our plates full. It's going to be a crazy holiday month. 
or two months or three months, whatever you want to call it. But we're excited, and I think we're leading everything into the right direction. So, yeah, I mean, we have a we have a ton of cool things that <laughs> we're going to be rolling out, especially the eight days of announcements that are starting on the nineteenth. Um, that's something you guys are going to be extremely happy to see. Uh, we'll be we'll be probably having daily announcements, whether they're in Twitter, whether they're on Telegram or both, or even on AMA, maybe we'll hop on, on, on voice and give the announcements in person each day, who knows, but something cool, something great. And it's just something that will for sure, for sure drive a ton of attention to, to the uh, project. And we're going to make sure that we try everything, you know, in the arsenal, in, in the arsenal to make sure we can get as much reach as possible. So we're, we're bringing everything to the table here with this event and literally the next three months. And it's going to be, it's going to be big. So now that we got all of that out of the way, um, there is some things that we could talk about, which are really not super important, but we could talk about them anyway. Obviously, if you guys are keeping track of Twitter, Twitter is um, pretty, <laughs> pretty newsworthy right now, right? There's a lot of Elon news in there and just a lot of crazy things that are going on. Um, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how Twitter uh, continues to, to develop in the next coming weeks. Um, this guy is playing chess, right? And when I say this guy, I'm talking about Elon. Elon is playing chess in the sense um, today there was rumors that he's going to be trying to um, file for bankruptcy for Twitter and everyone who initially sees that they might freak out, but uh, it's, it's honestly a chess play. It's a power play. And there's a lot of reasons why he's doing the things that he's doing in a sense, if you really dig deep and you really kind of understand why he's doing them, the guy's not a rocket scientist for nothing, right? He's one of the smartest people on the planet. So um, it's crazy to see how, how um, he's, he's running one of the biggest, if not the biggest social media platforms on the planet. And, you know, a lot of a lot of what he does right now is going to affect a, um, a lot of how crypto is marketed on Twitter. So it can either be extremely, extremely good or it can just literally be the same as it's always been and not change. But I think it's going to be I think it's going to be good. And I think it's especially with the interest that Elon has in Dogecoin. Um, I think our project, just the name of it and just the, the whole idea of it and everything just ties in so well with that whole ecosystem and that whole marketing angle and the whole, um, you know, uh, dog meme coin market that when and if that that time comes when Elon decides he wants to start pushing Doge again and, you know, start taking the world by storm with it, uh, we're going to be a pretty much a project that's been around for quite a, a, a while, established um, a nice roadmap, a nice ton of utility and nice it's just going to be really good to look at from my outside uh perspective if you haven't seen the project yet or if you haven't been interacting with the project by the time that next wave of you know um elon and doge and that whole meme uh, uh bull market comes back around we're going to be in such a good place and we're going to have we're going to be so prepared as a project and as a as a product and as a community that Anybody who wants to like test the waters and step in and join and buy or whatever, they're going to they're going to have a ton to interact with and a ton to learn from and a ton to be impressed about, which is something that we're really uh, proud of. And um, I mean, we're definitely going to keep building more and more so that when that time does come and even beyond that time, past that time, there is just newer and cooler things that are being built and brought into the ecosystem that will provide value and kind of really differentiate us from, you know, a lot of these other projects and, and being unique is going to have to be one of the biggest key factors in, in the success of the project. And uh, I think we're doing a great job with the, the uh, arsenal of ideas that we're bringing to the table. And it's not just like blank ideas of so, um, most, if not all of these ideas that we run with, they're already in development. And, you know, we, we really put our, our money where our mouth is and we do spend a ton of money on development and we do spend a lot of money on on marketing uh, especially in the early days we were spending a ton and ton of ton of marketing and then when uh obviously the bear market turned back around we saw that that marketing wasn't as um 
successful just because of the current time. So we decided, okay, instead of spending that money on the same amount of marketing and see much less results out of it, let's go ahead and build some really crazy stuff so that when the next bull market does come around, we're prepared for, you know, X, Y, and Z because we have this, 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 and that. And honestly, it's like, what would we market if we didn't have the utility? We would just market the uh, same thing that we marketed on, on launch on launch day. And that's, I mean, yeah, it's cool. And the vision is amazing, but people are, uh, people always want to see something new. And, you know, I'm on the same boat as you guys are. I want to see something new every single time, or um, I don't want to keep looking at the same thing over and over again. So, you know, we definitely put ourselves in the shoes of others as well. And we were like, we ask ourselves, what would we want to see out of um, the growth or the success of a project and, and whatnot? And, you know, we look at it as investors ourselves, too, because we really are. And, yeah, I mean, we're definitely just making sure the community's vision is also included into everything that, that we do. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're going to kill it, man. We're going to kill it. I'm confident that we're going to be um, in a very good spot, you know, come next year. And we're going to end this year off extremely strong, regardless of what the markets look like, whether they're good, whether they're bad, like they've been, you know, the past few months or whether they're neutral, it doesn't matter. We're going to have a strong year to finish it off. And, you know, everybody, everybody who's supporting us, we just want to give you guys a special, <clears throat> excuse me, a special thank you from the bottom of our hearts, because we do put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into making sure that, you know, we, we progress and, um, this is our passion and we're passionate about the project. We're passionate about you guys. We're passionate about crypto. We're passionate about literally everything. So, um, we're having an extremely fun time doing this. And I, I really do hope you guys are having a fun time, um, experiencing everything. And you're also a part of the entire building process too, whether you see it or not, you guys are. So with that being said, let me go ahead and change the settings up. And if people want to talk, you know, feel free to feel free to come up. Okay, it should be should be okay. Now does somebody want to test it? Can you guys unmute yourselves? Hi Leo, this is Fahad. Hey, Fahad. I had okay. I had to request, so maybe the others will, will do the same unless it's working now. Anyways, it's a very simple, quick question. Sure. Where are you heading, guys, with all these crazy, amazing, super great ideas? Like, in the middle of this bloodbath all around us, we are seeing this crazy hype and this crazy dedication from everyone giving this project. So hats off. Super amazing. These things keep recharging us and keep making me dig digging for extra money in my bucket to invest more. Just want to 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 express my admiration and my respect to everything you are doing. Yeah, man, for sure. Um, I'll touch up on that. So, the reason why all these ideas are are coming to fruition and why they're even being pushed, even in the in the rough times, right, uh, the bloodbath that is happening right now, as people call it, in the crypto markets, is when we launched Shiba Doge and when we launched the entire idea of what the project um, is when it was brought to life and what we expected out of it and the, you know, two, three, five year um, lifespan of it, for example, uh, we knew what we wanted out of it. And we didn't say to ourselves, like, hey, it doesn't matter uh, if, you know, if each drops under two grand, we're just going to not do anything like that, that. That was not a discussion we ever had. We never really cared about the price of anything. Um, we always knew what the vision was for what we're trying to do. And, and we knew that um, regardless of whether it's a bull market or a bear market, we're going to build it. So um, we were we were unfazed when, when this whole thing happened, when, when the markets decided to take a, take a turn and start, you know, trying to scare people out and 
creating a lot of uncertainty. It didn't create uncertainty for us. It made it made our job in a sense a little bit harder, but also a little bit easier because we were able to be like, okay, the, the projects that are not going to make it are the projects that are only in it because they want to make money from their communities and that's it. That's not the point of what Shiba Doge was brought to life for. The, the point of what Shiba Doge was brought to life for is because there's a greater vision, there's a greater um, ecosystem that we're attempting and trying to build here. So we're not just like, you know, just a random DEX project that pops up and is there for a month and then gone the, the month after. The, the, the bear market really ex- put those projects to extinction, right? Like, you know, you, you could see them right now. There was probably, you know, 50 odd different projects that were trending at the same times that, that Shiba Doge was at, um, when, when we launched. And then, you know, 49 out of 50 of those projects are probably not around anymore. So the bear market takes the fakes out and keeps the real ones around. Yeah, it does cause a little bit of um, difficulty uh, just because, you know, the bear market creates uncertainty for people. And um, that's that's the only downside. But for us, it didn't change anything. We wanted to double down on the utility and double down on the development. So that's what we did. And we're just excited for the way that the direction that we're headed. Maybe I just want to add, people are DMing me in, in Telegram saying, I'm glad I found Chiba Doge. Listen to everything they are saying. I'm glad, I'm glad. And I swear to God, I do want to say their names. Maybe they will come and speak. But this is the feeling in the community, deal. Yeah, man. That's, um, that, that's just good support. There is good support. You know, the people who actually take the time to learn about us and take the time to understand us and t- take the time to even know us as, a, as people and as, co- as a community, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna support it because we don't we don't attempt to bring any type of negativity to the space and any type of negativity to anybody. So everything that we touch is something that we're trying to grow and something that we're trying to help other people with. So, yeah, man, um, thank you for that. Yeah, this is a great project. I appreciate it. Can you hear me? Yep, we hear you, Dwayne. Thank you, man. Appreciate the yeah. support. I've been here since January, and I'm glad it's pretty much my first big project. And I've been, I guess, dollar costing average in for a while, and it's uh, you know, I'm I'm I know it's going to go to the moon, so I'm I'm real happy about it. And it's the first project I've. Been, it could have went the other way with some of these other part projects I got out there. So just Definitely, want to say thanks. Man. I'm glad are, you guys are, are on the job. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Shiba Doge right now is, is for sure a hidden gem. I, even though we have 26K holders, I like to call it a hidden gem because we're not mainstream yet, right? We're not mainstream. We're, we're kind of like close to the tipping point of it, but we're not yet. And I'm glad that we're not because um, if we were to go mainstream right now in the bear market, it would be a... It would be good, but don't get me wrong, but it would be much, much better if we go and hit mainstream like right on the cusp of the bull market and that's like that's where timing would be amazing and that's where timing would be next level so um we we are putting together a plan for it for you know when those signals of the bull market start coming in um how we're going to start approaching our marketing and how we're going to start approaching the the mainstream um element of how we're trying to take you know the project mainstream so uh there's still a little bit of time before we talk about anything like that just because uh, you know, right now there are still none of those early indicator signs that, hey, you know, tomorrow might be a bull market. That I mean, it's still, it's still pretty choppy out there, but it looks like with the SPX thing already out of the way, um, we saw the worst of it. I hope, I hope we already saw the worst of it, but, um, I think we're, we're on to greener pastures now with, uh, you know, all that news being brought to fruition and, you know, whatever happening already happened and is done with. So hopefully nobody got wrecked on FTX, at least from our community. But I know there are a lot of people who are going to be um, dealing with some some issues that had their money in there. Oh, let's talk about, um, I'm reading the Telegram and uh, Chris asked a question. For some reason, my Twitter client won't allow me to unmute slash speak. Can you elaborate on the above tweet? Okay. So the, the tweet is, we, we put a tweet out yesterday and it says, 
will have an analysis of possible pairings of Doge Army and Shiba Army NFTs tomorrow. Supply slash tokenomics could get interesting. Theoretically, we can never achieve 10,000 full pairs and supply becomes pretty scarce past 5,000, maybe less. So what does that mean? <clears throat> this is a much better uh, question for Alex, but he kind of to told me about it. So I'm going to tell you guys what I know about it. Um, there can never be 10,000 full pairs of the Shiba Doge. And let me tell you why. It's because in order for all 10,000 to be minted out, people need to have a, um, a pair of a Shiba and a Doge, right? So um, that's very, very unlikely to ever happen that everybody has equal pairs just because a lot of people might have, one, lost their NFTs. Um, I know for sure some people like lost their NFTs by their wallets getting hacked or whatever. So that's one, one reason. Another reason is um, there are some NFTs that have been burned. There are some NFTs that, um, it, it, you get what I'm saying. Everybody would just need to have equal pairs for those 10,000 to actually come to fruition. Um, and past 5,000, considering the, um, the amount that people actually own right now, past 5,000, it becomes very, very hard to get more Shiba Doge NFTs into circulation because uh, firstly, obviously, um, there's still like 2,000, around 2,000 Shiba armies that still have to be minted, including the Vitalik. So that's one part of it. Another part of it is, um, you know, people would actually need to move around a lot of these pairs in order to actually bring them to life. And what what makes that really cool is that it limits the supply and it becomes very scarce and people are going to eventually down the line whether it's months, weeks, days, or years down the line, they're going to be hunting to get those unbred pairs because those are going to be really, really rare. The unbred pairs down the line are going to be really rare and are going to be something that people are going to you know, want to get their hands on to, to breed them, um, especially if it's a one of one. So there is something really, really uh, special if you breed two one of ones. Uh, I'm not going to say exactly what it is, and I don't think I'll ever say what it is until somebody actually sees for themselves, because that's just one Easter egg surprise that we're going to keep um, under our sleeves. And we'll see if anybody ever achieves that or not. But yeah, if you breed two one of ones on one on the uh, Doge army and one on the Shiba army, something really special and crazy happens. So <laughs> just letting you guys know on that end. <clears throat> but yeah, man, um, I, I think on uh, Twitter or either on Telegram, we'll put a whole analysis of the supply and tokenomics like on paper or just written form so that you could get a better understanding of um, how these numbers are going to pair up and how um, we visualize the um, analytics of it to, to be. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's just something that, I, I, well, if Alex said that we're going to release it today, then I'm sure he probably has something prepared. If not, um, I'll go talk to him afterwards and see. Um, what we could do to release, you know, some of those numbers on paper. So, yeah, that's what that that's what that meant. If anybody else has anything you guys want to say, feel free. It's an open conversation. It doesn't have to be relevant to what we're talking about. Even you guys can just come up and talk. Talk about anything, anything you want. Oh, here's another thing. So it is an entirely upgradable smart contract for the Shiba Doge NFT. And what that means is the contract will evolve, will be able to evolve over time. So we'll be able to throw upgrades to, to uh, the contract. Um, we'll be able to do a lot of cool things with the contract. It will never be like, you know, one of the older versions of ERC-20 contracts that when it's on the blockchain, it's on the blockchain. You can't make any, ver any changes to it unless you launch like a V2 or a V3 or whatever. Um, that's not going to be the case with this, with the, the, 
the coolest part about it is that it's upgradable. So we'll be able to actually, you know, um, push updates to it, just like how your iPhone gets updated or your software on your computer gets updated. The smart contract will be able to be upgraded and updated as well too. So, um, you know, if we ever get any new ideas and then anything new that we want to bring to the table, we're always going to be free and able to do that without having to, um, you know, turn the tables and try to do some rocket science or anything. So we spent a little bit of extra time um, making sure that, you know, those elements are included. <clears throat> Did anybody here have any, any funds on FTX, by the way? Or did you guys move it out in time or like anybody? I know some of our community members um, used to have some funds in, on FTX, but thankfully to our guardian angels, we, we've been warned uh, one or two days before what happened in our community telegram group. And, and they were saying they moved it just in time before everything happened. Man, that's so good. That's so good. Yeah, I know one. I only know one person who had funds on there, and I, I don't even know if they moved it out or not. I have to check in with them because, you know, whoever it was, they they did have a significant amount of money in there. So I'm sure I'm sure he's you know he's good. I'm sure he moved it out, but I'll check in with them. It's tragic, bro. I mean, nobody really expected expected this to happen. It all happened so fast. And talking about that, Leo. Most of us, like normal investors or traders, we tend to, I'm, I'm talking in general, to, to trust those big names when it comes to your centralized exchanges. So what is the recommendation when it comes to trading in, in exchanges? When do we have to keep them? How do we deal with our assets? And how do we evaluate one exchange in, in comparison to the other one? Okay, that's a, that's a good question. Um, so... This is my view on exchanges. Exchanges are necessary to the growth of crypto, right? They're necessary because it creates an easy element for people to be able to um, buy, sell, trade, swap, whatever, right? But that's all they should be used for. That, that's all they should be used for is the literal name of it, an exchange. And there's a lot of ways where you can actually protect yourself by just doing something as simple as getting a Web3 decentralized wallet, whether it's a uh, ledger, whether it's a MetaMask, whether it's a trust wallet, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anything that's not on an exchange, because if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. So yeah, exchanges, um, there is a ton of good exchanges you could use to actually buy and sell and trade and swap. But after you do that, don't keep your funds on there. Move, move them into a, into a wallet that you know is going to be safe. So it, it's like the same way, you know, you go and you buy a car from a dealership and you're going to you're going to be like, OK, dealership is the best and safest place I could buy a new car. Right. And then, for example, you go and you buy a watch and you leave your watch. You're not going to leave your brand new watch in an unlocked car in the middle of the road. You're going to want to take it home and lock it up in the safe or lock it up, you know, just somewhere that is out of sight, out of mind. So think of it the same way. It's like you. Don't leave your valuables somewhere where they're at risk. And even if it's one of the most trusted exchanges, even if it's Binance, it doesn't matter. There's still not a 100% guarantee that um, if your funds are not in your control, that something can happen to them, you know? Something can happen to them. So you know, there are a ton of good exchanges. My favorite exchange is Binance. My second favorite exchange is uh, Coinbase. Uh, they're obviously two of the um, most well-known exchanges out there, but... That's just what I started with when I started my crypto journey. And, you know, I'm, I'm those types of people that when I like something, I, I continue to use it and I don't really stray far away from it. Even if there are better products out there, I, I kind of like, you know, I, I support what I started with. And as long as um, they never give me a reason to, to doubt them, I won't. But I still wouldn't trust them with my money. Um, just like the same way I wouldn't trust, uh, you know, giving my money to random people. And then, you know, if somebody told me, hey, I'll give you $10 a day. All you got to do is give me a hundred bucks right now. I'd be like, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's kind of the same way with these exchanges, right? They offer a lot of 
cool incentives, but what they're really doing with your money is they're attempting to make more money and they're over leveraging themselves in certain cases and they're trading back and forth with your money. And um, look at what happened with FTX. They over leveraged, they try to bail people out. They did, you know, all kinds of weird things. And, and a lot of people are going to pay a lot of consequences for it. So be, you know, be in control of your own funds, guys. The chances of you actually like, you know, using an exchange and buying something and then transferring the tokens out, that's like a 10 minute, 20 minute process max. If, if not less, you could probably do it in a couple minutes. The chances of something wrong happening in that time frame, like a exchange halting withdrawals or something, is so tiny, like so small that you shouldn't even worry about that. But if you buy it and keep it on there and every single day it's just on an exchange that that's every single day that you have a chance of something sketchy like what happened to FTX happening to you. So that's my piece of advice, guys. And I, and I think, Leo, it becomes like a habit once you start buying or trading in exchanges and then moving your asset to your cold or whatever other wallet. It becomes a, a habit. Some people feel a bit afraid of trying new things but once they try it and they see the benefit of it and how deep they can sleep like a baby overnight not being afraid on their assets it becomes the simplest habit for them when it comes to trading yeah yeah for sure man i know holding your wallet holding your money in a decentralized wallet doesn't offer some of the same benefits that these exchanges offer you like some exchanges give you apy and apr and staking rewards and you know, all kinds of different things that they tell you that they're giving you. But yeah, it makes more sense sometimes if you're, you know, making money that way. But is it worth it at the end if, if you lose all your assets? No, it's not. It's definitely not worth it. So <laughs> it, 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 at the end of the day, it always comes down to what people want to do as far as their own decisions. But 10 out of 10 times, I would, I would decide to make 1% less money, but know that my money is safe or my assets are safe. So that, that that's just me and that's actually a lot of people on, on the decentralized side of things that think the same way so you know don't, don't make that mistake and, and end up having to pay the consequences because it's not it's not about how big a company is the too big to fail is something that people say and they were probably saying that about FTX that you know when they were valued at multi-billions of dollars oh they're too big to fail too big to fail uh, obviously that got debunked and <laughs> you're not too big to fail. Everybody can, uh, can fail. Obviously that was proven with, with the downfall of FTX, right? Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, Leo? I have, I have a, um, a question. Um, I invited my cousin on here so um, he can know about the uh, about the Shiba Doge. And um, one of the questions, his, his mic is not on, but one of his questions is that he wanted to know, um, uh, will you know in the future will Shiba Doge will be on uh, Crypto dot com? And um, also, if you can, I, and I know you always explain it all the time, but could you um, talk about the, uh, I guess, if I'm saying it right, about the NFTs, how how it's baked in and stuff like that? Yeah. So um, to answer your first question about you know, crypto.com, uh, I'm not going to say whether we'll be on crypto.com or on Binance or Coinbase or whatever, but, but I can tell you for sure, like, you know, tier one exchanges are one of the biggest goals that we have. And it's not like, oh, if we get one tier one exchange, we're going to stop there. Now, it's, um, obviously, we want to be on all of them. So that, that is a different process of, of actually getting that done. It does require a ton of different requirements that they want to see out of a, a project. And you mm -hmm. know, one of them is a certain number of community members, certain number of transactions, certain number of um, just everything, right? I mean, if you want, if you want to be like, for example... Let's say you have a product and you want to put it in uh, retail stores and you want to be in like Walmart. They're not going to just put any product on there. They're going to want, you know, a product that actually people are actually going to be interested in and 
uh, that doesn't just take up their shelf space because everybody everybody wants to you know have that uh, product that people want and right. Uh, right now us being you know so early into the project uh, we are reaching a lot of those requirements very quickly um, and then the second part of it is like after we do reach those requirements, we actually have to start putting a bunch of funds together because a lot of these tier one exchanges do have massive uh, listing fees. Like for example, crypto.com is like close to $2 million for a listing fee. So wow. um, yeah, so that's another, that's another thing we have to account for. And another thing we have to you know make sure that we're ready for because $2 million could uh, do a lot of development and a lot of marketing and a lot of other things for the project. Um, but then obviously $2 million can also get us on crypto.com. So it, it, it balances a lot of, um, uh, a lot of the discussions that we do have when it comes to things like that. Obviously, uh, we, we are always going to do what, what we feel is right for the direction of the project. Um, to answer your second question is, uh, the NFTs, uh, you can stake your NFTs. We do have season two ongoing right now. It's about to come to a close um, sometime next month. I don't know the exact date. I have to look on my um, on the the uh, staking website. But uh, season three is going to be the next season following this. And season three is going to be very special because you'll be able to actually interact with the new bread NFTs. And there are going to be new, new cool features that are being added to the staking seasons. And when you stake your NFT, uh, right now you're getting burn token and you're getting Shiba Doge token um, on the next iteration of staking. Um, we're going to have a full on discussion and a full on presentation as to what to expect from season three. Um, there will be new features being added. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking about the prestige levels that we've been showing on, um, on some of our current NFTs. Prestige is going to be a part of it too. Um, you'll be able to level up your NFTs. There's going to be a lot of cool things that are going to be uh, brought to the table with season three. So that's a discussion for another day. Um, we're actually working on putting the whole presentation uh, together for it, and and we'll be at, we'll be able to give you guys a proper uh, breakdown on everything when when the time is right on that. And um, we're actually getting really close because season two is kind of you know coming to a close here pretty soon. Okay. Thanks, Leo. For sure, bro. Thank you. Hey, Leo. It's Rojo. Rojo, what's up, bro? Hey, not much, man. Just want to give the community a little update with the Shiba Doge mobile. Um, uh, today, driving around, taking care of my patients in the middle of the hurricane Nicole through here. Um, car pulled, car pulled up, railed on its horn a couple times. Thumbs up from the passenger side and the driver side. Uh, the windows were tinted, so I didn't get a view of the facial expressions, but um, they acknowledged whatever was wrapped on the car, which was a pretty cool experience today. That was the first time that it's happened that somebody reached out and beeping their horns. Um, but uh, the audio <laughs> system's in. <laughs> the audio system's in. I've been talking the jumper on Telegram out of uh, Africa to make some more tunes for Shiba Doge. And then uh, I got some uh, video cameras and everything else. I just got to hook them up so I can start capturing all the impressions that I see on a daily basis. Uh, some of them are just, are, are, they're just amazed at what this car is looking like. They just have no clue sometimes. Definitely, man. That's, that's cool that you got a reaction like that out of it. Um, I, I can tell you those reactions will probably become more and more uh, frequent with the, um, you know, as the project becomes more recognized and as the project becomes, um, you know, more available to, to the broader audience, you know, more people will be able to recognize it. And, you know, especially uh, you with all the driving that you do, I'm sure a lot of eyes are going to be on the car and on the project um, in itself. So, that's definitely cool, man. And for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Roho has a, a uh, Jeep that's kind of uh, wrapped in Shiba Doge decals and just looks awesome. So just a really good supporter and a really cool thing that he did for the project. So, yeah, you definitely, know, I mean, I, I, definitely I, I, awesome. <laughs> it is funny. 
But I definitely try to post photos periodically on Telegram of the of the car and everything else. So when uh, new community members join, they actually see what as a community what we've done so far, especially on the Dow and and what the devs had done and delivered um, as promised. So uh, you guys just keep up the good work, and you know I'm shooting all messages here and there to a lot of our community members that are constantly on there. So just keep it up, and uh, definitely more to come. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Anybody else, guys? Anybody have anything they want to talk about? All right. I mean, I guess I got all of my announcements out on what I wanted to speak on today. Um, so I, I guess I'm happy kind of uh, ending it here in a sense, because we did we did talk about a lot of cool things that um, we're going to expect, especially in the next eight days. Uh, definitely keep your eyes open for the eight announcements, because they are going to be big and they are going to be uh, something that you don't want to miss. And it's something that everybody can participate in and, and um, be a part of. So we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to, you know, killing it the, the, this month and the month after, especially because, you know, the month after is going to be our one year anniversary leading up to the 24th of it. So we do have some pretty cool things planned for that. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank everybody for participating, uh, coming in and listening in today. If you came in late and you missed the first parts of the, uh, Twitter spaces uh, right after this is done I'll go ahead and post on our Twitter the whole recorded version of it so you can jump back in and, and re-listen to, to wh whatever you missed out on because we did talk about some cool announcements so feel free to do that uh, but yeah with all that said guys um, if you missed Doge that sucks if you missed Shiba that also sucks if you missed Shiba Doge then unfortunately you suck <laughs> Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, pretty much it. If anybody has anything that you want to say before we close this out, now is your chance. Leo, quick thing, right? It's Rojo again. Um, think about the idea to, uh, snap a picture of the Shiba Doge mobile. If anybody finds where the Shiba Doge mobile is in the world, kind of like where in the world is Carmen San Diego type of thing. Uh, maybe look at giving some type of prize out for that person to capture it and post it. Cause I pretty much know where I'm at all the time with the vehicle. And that's pretty cool. I mean, we could probably talk about something like that. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll send you a, I'll send you a private message and maybe we could put a game together. I mean, I don't want people <laughs> to be stalking you or anything like that. You know, that's <laughs> not, not the goal, but maybe we, could, maybe we could do something. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we could do something cool and interactive. But definitely not anything that's going to be invading your privacy, bro. That's that's not what we want to do. Right, right. Awesome, man. You guys have a good night. Thank you very much. You too, man. All right, guys. Well, thank you all. Love you all. Talk to you soon. If you